Okay, in this video we're going to talk about Route 53 latency-based routing. And um, what that means is it's going to, we're going to create, uh, we've already created some Route 53 records and we're going to test um, hitting those records from different parts of the world to see how Route 53 routes the request. So I put this graphic up that I found which I think is kind of funny because um, it shows you that there's latency, there's also geolocation routing. So I did a video already on geolocation routing where you could specifically route users from specific um, countries or even continents to certain um, EC2, the EC2 regions that, you, um, that you've already set up. So you could, let's say, filter content based on where, which country the user is coming from. Whereas latency-based routing, this is for um, specific latency tests that Amazon does on their end and they determine sort of what is the best place to route the request to based on the lowest latency. Uh, if we look at the documentation here, here's, it just explains that uh, it's for performance reasons. You can improve performance by serving the request from AWS regions that provide the lowest latency and you could um, read the rest of the documentation here. So I am going to um, show you what the setup is right now. I have three EC2 instances in each one is in a totally different region and part of the world. So I'm going to show you here. So this one we have an EC2 here in North Virginia. We have an EC2 here in Paris in the EU region and then we have an EC2 here in Sydney, Australia again in a totally different um, part of the world. And what I'm going to show you is what each of them returns um, as far as if you hit it. So I'm going to use the one in North Virginia first. I'm going to paste the IP here and as you can see it shows you the host name, shows you the availability zone US East 1D. If I then take the one in Paris and I copy that and I paste it here, it's going to show you uh, EUS 3D, that's the availability zone. And then if I take the one in Sydney and I copy that IP and I paste it here, it's going to show you that it's coming from AP Southeast 2A, Asia Pacific. So each EC2 is showing a unique message. So that way we know which one we're hitting. And then here's my Route 53 setup. I have three records, one for each of those EC2 instances. So I have the first one. Again, the record, uh, the name is Latency Test Misha, and then it's an A-type record. It's There's no alias that we're using because we're going straight to an IP address. Um, and then what we have is right here, the routing policy I have is latency. And as you can see, actually Amazon automatically auto, <clears throat> excuse me, auto-selected the region. You could change it, but I mean, it's best to give it the region that it's actually in. And then I gave a label for that region. And then same thing for the next one, which is for the Paris EC2. So again, I gave the I gave the IP of that um, EC2 in Paris. Again, said the routing policy was latency based and labeled it EUS3, which you could see right here. Here's the ID EUS3. And then finally the um, the North Virginia one, I gave the IP of the EC2 there, again an A record, latency-based routing, and labeled it as e US East 1A. Okay, so that's the setup for the test, and then now it's going to depend where I am. So where I am right now is I'm actually in US East, according to my VPN, I'm going to show you, uh, one second, and I had it. Oh yeah, here it is. So I'm going to refresh this page just to show that I'm in the U.S. right now. So here it's showing right here. I'm in the Washington D.C. area. So I'm in the U.S. So if I hit this um, this record set, okay, I should be directed to the um, to the U to the to the EC2 in North Virginia, and this is the uh, place where I'm going to hit it. So I'm going to refresh this page and I should see US East 1D come up. Okay, so here I'm going to just copy that just to make sure that 
it's going to come up. So I'm going to paste that in there. So US East 1D. Great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my location with my VPN. I'm going to change it to Australia right now and come back when I'm back when in Australia. Okay, so we're back and I'm going to refresh this page just to show that it should be showing us to be in Australia. So I'm going to refresh that. Here we go. So it's showing that we're in Australia. And now if I go to the same endpoint, latency test, and I refresh this, I should see AP Southeast. There we go, AP Southeast 2A, which is what the EC2 in Australia is sending back. Great. Now I'm going to switch regions and go to the EU and go to Ireland and then do the same test from Ireland. Okay, so we're back and we're back. I switched my region to be in Ireland. So let's go back to this page, which is here. I'm going to refresh to see where it thinks I am. Okay, it thinks I'm in Ireland. Great. So now we're going to do the same request, but from Ireland. So we should get the one in Paris. So let's refresh. There we go. EU West 3B. So there we go. Three different instances in three different parts of the world. Uh, the same endpoint. And again, based on the latency that AWS um, measures and gives us the EC2 instance in the region where it has the lowest latency.